this one time. Give me a location you might find in the 1940s. Like a bar or a beauty salon. Speakeasy. Okay. A speakeasy's like a bar. Anything else? <laughs> New stand. The lobby of the built bar. I heard a newsstand. A newsstand, right? Yeah, not an old one. A newsstand. All right, a newsstand. <laughs> Real joker. <laughs> I got my eye on you. <laughs> Hollywood hero 
Thanks. She thinks. See if it has anything in there about uh, Myron Schofield. Myron. Why, yes, right here, Myron Schofield. Look familiar? <laughs> Myron, why, that's you! Well, I don't like to brag, but I do like to point myself out in magazines. Oh, I like the Schofield, the, the big studio head. <laughs> can I get your autograph? And I guess yours too, man. You're going to be famous too. I think we can count on that after what I've seen here at this newsstand. Oh. You seem to be completely uninhibited. <laughs> can she borrow it? Thanks, of course. Mrs. Schofield. What's your name, ma'am? It's Gladys Purgatory. Oh, <laughs> not anymore. Now your name is Sunrise Shaughnessy. Sunrise Shaughnessy. My address is on the pen. Come to my office tomorrow at 8. Oh, it's, it's very small, but I'll find it. I'll find it. It doesn't matter if the office is small or if the print is small. What matters is if the dreams are big. Ah, I was here for the whole thing. <laughs> this is my lucky day. I'm gonna put this in my memory book. <laughs> Thanks, you stand boy. This is a great breakfast, Luann. Great. Can't, get, can't wait to get to work today. I said I can't wait to get to work today. I'm so happy for you. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. You wake up on the wrong side of the bed again? I said that breakfast is great. Ugh. Barry, I'm just so bored. Bored? You got it made. You're a big-time star. What does that even mean, Barry? It means people adore you, like me. And they do anything for you, like me. But it's so empty. Nothing I do is real. It's all made up. All of my... Well, everything. You're my only true relationship. Well, I hope so. Every other relationship I had is false. Someone writes it down and I enact it. Yeah, look. What kind you're on of the life is this? You're on the cover of the fan page. Ah, oh, it was All right, staged. the most beautiful actress, Luann McCoo. <laughs> <laughs> All right? And I'm here by your side. Old faithful. Right. Miss McCoo, we have the new pages for you. We look forward to seeing you at the studio in two hours. Terrific. You look wonderful today, Miss McCoo. You have to give your assistants the key. I'm in my bathrobe. How else am I supposed to get anything done? There's never any time. All that's filling my day, Barry, are empty minutes. Empty minutes? Empty minutes? What does that mean, empty minutes? Just what I said, Barry. Empty minutes. Empty minutes. The seconds passing by are like laying a track. Each beam whittled down with iron. Heading forward somewhere, maybe into the horizon. Only to find there's nothing there. I see a time span ahead of you, my dear. And that time span is beautifully clear. You've got a life that's made of gold. And you got a life of a story untold. Every minute, every hour, every day, every Another time for me and you to go. Go. That's right. Go. That's right. Go. Go out there. Enjoy your life. Life.
life for living, not for sitting around and dreaming of other things. You got your life made, all right? You're a star. Harry, it doesn't mean anything. Aren't you listening? No. It doesn't mean anything at all. Every second like a page in this. Her mannerisms, everything about her. I want you to learn from her elegance and poise. Yes. And then, I want you to take over. The world can't 
can't have the same star for that long. It gets hungry for new celestial goddesses. Hungry. You left a mark. Yes, I did. Did you like it? I must... Oh, yes, I did. I did like it. That's the right answer. That's what Sunrise would say. Noelle, 
Oh, gee, I know who you are. It's a, it's a, it's a dream come true meeting you, Miss McCoo. I've, I've been a fan since I was a child, a, a baby. And I'm sure you have. Notice how she holds hands with the top grip. Remember it. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you here. May I call you Sonny? No. <laughs> yes, I've forgotten what a tight hold he has on the girls in their first few minutes. Did it seem like minutes to you? It seemed like years. And so it has been. Years. I'll thank you not to use the words has been in this office. <laughs> you are rather sensitive. This I'm morning. just protective, that's all. Have that's you read the fan pages? I read them! Well, what have you have to say for yourself? Disgusting! Yes, I agree, that behavior was disgusting. How could you? At the Brown Derby, you in front of everybody. Me up. Set you up? How do you mean? My whole life is a picture, isn't it? Beware. He'll script everything, he'll write it all, he'll set you up. You shall always be in his film. No matter how hard you try, <laughs> he'll never let you go. You'll be chained, chained through reels of film. Ah, oh, with your images on, you shall be shackled to his studio and cut. I'm going to leave you two to get acquainted. <laughs> Tell me your real name. <laughs> Gladys Purgatory. Oh, yeah. I'm Francesca Liaison. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. You weren't born, Luann McCool. Oh my god, I'm a construct! I'm a <laughs> construct, Gladys! <laughs> this is what awaits you. And yet I, I still want it. I can taste it. I want it so bad. It's like it's all laid out for me, the path, and all I gotta do is take a step. And it's mine! Sure, I might leave a few things along the way, a moral here, an ethic there. But what does that matter if it gets me what I want, if it fulfills my dreams? Sweetheart, perhaps this is a lesson you're going to have to learn on your own. All right, I'm going to leave a wide open path for you, because I'm leaving town. Right now, no one's going to stop me. It's yours, Gladys. But I encourage you, don't forget who's inside of here. It's where all the real meaning is. The real news. Didn't you say you were leaving the real town? News. Did you say you were getting on a train or something? I'm going right now. Thanks for the tips. I just was out of smokes, is all. Oh, well, about to open up. You always hear when I do. <laughs> do you ever read ahead? Read ahead? I'm <laughs> not supposed to do that. <laughs> you must be like looking into the future, like you know the news before anybody else does. It's true, I do. I guess sometimes I do read ahead. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's the most wonderful thing you ever read ahead about? It's funny. Usually when you read ahead, you only hear about bad things. Like the stock market crash. Oh, sure. Or the sinking of the Lusitania. <coughs> well, I don't want to hear about those things. I've been typing all day and my... All night, too. God, Bossman keeps me busy. I just want to hear about something fun or happy. Oh, there's a new star. Did you hear about that? Sunrise. And uh, you were here, remember? She was here and you were here. Oh, um, I'm familiar. <laughs> that she got her name. Her real name was Gladys, but now she's Sunrise. I Look. It's on, she's on the cover of the fan pages. I'm so happy for her. This is going to be big. Everybody's going to know. <laughs> <laughs> One paper, please. Oh, you can have mine. <laughs> oh, now that's that's a happy thing. It's a new She's star. It's a happy thing. Yeah. Well, I met her myself twice. She's real nice. She used to come here every day. I mean, now she never does. I never see her. Yeah, she's taking the place of a real star. Mr. McCoo, isn't it? Uh, would you mind giving me a comment for the fan pages? I ain't giving a comment to nobody. Oh, come on, Mr. McCoo. Tell us about the tragedy that struck your life. I want to know all the details. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mr. McCoo. Barry. <laughs> Barry, Barry McCoo. everything happens at my newsstand. I swear <laughs> to God. That's what happens in Hollywood. Everything happens at little corner markets. Everything... Hey, is it true that Mr. McCoo is here to give a statement? Well, Mr. McCoo is here and I got here first. Well, uh, I'll just take whatever the second statement is. <laughs> uh, answer her question first, sir, and then I need a question from the Celebrity Journal. Well, the truth is, Mr. Schofield, the famous movie producer. Yes? He ruined Luan Magoo. He ruined her? I is thought he made Magoo her career. Magoo, huh? I think it's Magoo. I, don't really I know her as Magoo. <laughs> but he transformed her you know, into Magoo to make it sound more French, more fancy. Listen, I work for him. Is it wise to speak against him? Oh, sure it is, Tuts. Yeah, my life's already ruined. I know who you are, Marjorie. <gasps> don't think. Don't, don't print Marjorie. Marjorie was never here. Oh, it's already in print, honey. Oh, yeah, put it in the <laughs> paper. Marjorie. <laughs> she knows all about it. Paper. I support my boss in whatever he does. Oh, yeah? It's not, that's not what it says here. What does it say? Uh, it says that uh, Marjorie had her doubts. Oh! oh you had her doubts. Yeah. Yeah. It says here Marjorie said not to fly too close to the sun. Oh! oh. I knew it! I knew it! Oh, Marjorie lost her job! Oh. oh! You deserve it. I was only trying to help. Tell us more, tell us more, tell us more. Yeah! Tell us more, tell us more, tell us more. Tell us more, tell us more, tell us more. Tell us more, but I don't know if I should. Tell us more, or else there's gonna be blood on the floor. Well, a threat's a threat, so I will tell you more. Things are bad for Miss McCoy.
Have this can of tuna. Marjorie Mayhill Sugar Pie Clemens. <laughs> very quickly, but I think she knew it was time. That's exactly how she would have said it. Exactly. Time to step aside and let someone else have a chance. And now, the sun is rising. <laughs> <laughs> Myron, the sun has risen. It is shining brightly. Yes. I wonder if you're Ready to meet your leading man. I think so. <laughs> We've only cast you opposite women for your first couple of pictures. Just to see how that tested. 
<laughs> and? Well, it tested well. Women have always liked me. There's something non-threatening about me. Yes, you keep it well hidden, don't you? Like the dark side of the moon. Tag Avalanche here yet? Oh no. Oh, that must be him now. Should I send him in or keep him out here with me for a while? Well, you can have him for as long as you can keep him, sweetheart. Oh. Then send him in. All right. Tag Avalanche. Yes. <laughs> right this way, Mr. Avalanche. Oh. Why, thank you, gorgeous. You look so handsome today, Mr. Avalanche. You know, if you ever need any company to go there, big gallows or anything, I'm always available. Oh, no problem at all. <laughs> I can't help but wondering. Oh, I have to buzz you in. Poor Mrs. Baku is doing in jail right now. <laughs> now that the jury's about to decide her fate. One, two, three. Uh, I'm very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> Myron. Hello, Taggy. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is your new <laughs> leading lady, Sunrise Shaughnessy. <laughs> like lemon soap. Right on the nose, Mr. Allen. Call me Tag. Everyone does, right, Myron? That's right. I can't wait to see you in your first scene together in the studio. Yes. Isn't it lovely here at the San Moritz? Oh, darling, let's never leave here. I can't leave. I've just bought the casino. No. <laughs> look, look at all these ladies. All of them pale in comparison to you, gorgeous. Thank you, darling. Hopefully nothing bad will ever happen to us. Never. How could it? Cut! Cut! Ah, uh, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Myron! Myron! I can't I don't know work why I'm with wearing her. a fur and sandwich. You must. She's a rising star. Your career and the entire studio depends on it. You promised me a three-picture deal. This is the first one. You'll have two more. His Otto! His breath is disgusting. It's tag avalanche. <laughs> Otto, your stars. They need some coaxing, cuddling, coddling. Coddling, yes, that's what we need. Coddling. Let's see some more coddling on the set. Coddling, bring in the coddling lights. And a fan, please. And a mint. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous here at the San Moritz? Beautiful, darling. Uh, let's never leave here. Let's stay here forever. <laughs> we can't leave. I've just bought the casino. <laughs> no. Look at all these girls. They pale in comparison to you. Does he have to... Shut my chin! Myron! Let's call it a day! Let's call it a day! We're done shooting for today, I think. We'll take a break. Yes, take a break. Everybody take a break. Yes! No pictures, please. No pictures! Get back to your trailer. How dare you speak to me like that? Don't you know who I am? Yes. You're done. Sunrise Shaughnessy. Sunrise Shaughnessy. Doesn't sound like that, it sounds like Sunrise Shaughnessy. Sunrise Shaughnessy. Sunrise Shaughnessy. <laughs> Where's my light? Oh, here it is. Gladys. That's not my name anymore. Stop saying that. Gladys. It's sunrise. 
sunrise shone the sea. I'm the greatest star that anyone will ever see. I'm still on the rise. It's too early for this painful demise. What was it that girl said? Don't fly too close to the sun. What was it that director said? He said, you're done! Oh no! You pretending to be her. But that's right. Where is she now then, the accused murderess? She's Where right is over she? here. Come on in. Luan. Luan Lacou. Francesca Liaison. Sorry, Francesca. There's only room for one really big star. Do you see how committed I am to my craft? Not everyone would kill two people to ascend to the heavens. There's plenty of room for you in the big house. You're hurting me. In a small cell. What? Is this a film? Is this my new film? Women behind bars. I like it. You're really going to be in the news now, aren't you? That's right. Gladys. Everyone in Milwaukee will see it's sunrise. It's not Gladys. It's sunrise. <laughs> Fine, let's go. Can you believe it, Joe? Why, it's like a murder mystery. And that all started at your stand? I know. She rose up to stardom here, and then <laughs> she fell down to prison dumb here. Oh, well, no, that happened on a movie set, but... 
Wow. You're the most interesting person I ever did meet that had both feet square on the ground. I always appreciated you coming to my stand. Oh, I need liner for uh, Mr. Pussy Willow's litter. <laughs> well, what are you doing later? Oh, well, I was going to look through the classifieds. Well, I'm done at six. Maybe I can come over and help you look through the classifieds. I'd like that. Maybe uh, you could bring a paper and we could read ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like that. Myron, I want to talk about that next picture you promised me. Yes, the pirate and the actor. Oh, yes, the pirate. I always wanted to play a yes. pirate. Yes. Yes, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, I found bleeding ladies to be very troublesome. I'm only going to cast you with men for the next six pictures. Good idea, good idea! <laughs> thank That's you. a scope. Thank you, Myron. Uh, my nice pleasure. Pirates. pirates! Can I quote you on that? You sure can. But I think the real story is happening right here. Cause love. Always news, no matter the time of day. Love is always news, it never goes away. Love is always news, love is always news. Love is always bell that goes ring, 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 ring. And sometimes you don't get to choose what kind of. strapping man but love is always news love is right on time oh yeah love is always news even if it ends in a horrible crime yes As long as